This time, we're leaving our home and our truck behind. Heading to Minnesota in January. Yay, let's go down that road. Goodbye home, see you in about 10 days. kind of cramped in the truck. Of course that big suitcase in the back is my niece's and we're bringing stuff back in it when we return. It is empty right now and we have some emergency stuff along. We have food. We have um, yeah. <laughs> There's our cooler bag. So with room to spare. But I think uh, once we are on the way back, things will be rearranged quite differently and we'll have, we should be all right. Boy, do we have a lot to catch up with. Okay. Our last video was our Christmas one. And we never go this long without posting a video. But right on Christmas day night, that nasty little virus caught me. And then a day, two days later, Gary got it. Yeah, she shared it with me. I did. I love her. Yes, we share everything. <sighs> we didn't really get, like, sick. It was just that we were really, 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 really tired and run down and just wanted to sleep all the time. And we had um, cold fevers and things like that. Then... Right in the middle of that, like within a couple of days, my mom, who lives in Rochester, Minnesota, if you're new to our channel, we, we went through a real struggle this year about leaving the Midwest and going south. Part of that was because of my mom. Over the summer months and the fall, her health conditions really improved a lot in a lot of ways. and. She, she was doing much better than what we saw when we first came in May. And then in December, she got a cough and um, went into the hospital on January 4th. And she passed away on January 10th. If you follow our Facebook page, you knew about all of this already, but um, that really knocked the wind out of us. And that plus the fact that we were getting over our sickness and we were now the added stress of working with siblings and everything and the kids and all the stuff. Uh, on, what's the next things we had to do. And there was a lot of planning, a lot of things we had to do over the phone. And then with my brother who was local to the area, my sister who lives in Wisconsin was helping with things too. Um, two and a half years ago, I downsized my mom's house. And I had a very short time to do it and that was getting her ready to move into her 500 square foot apartment. So what they're dealing with is pretty much a 500 square foot apartment, which I know my mom still had a lot of stuff left. And there was a lot of things that had to be divided up. So 
obviously in January it is way too cold to take our RV home with us. We started looking at the cost of renting a, a vehicle because we have a lot of stuff and we're bringing back stuff. I think I showed you. Okay, this is what we all have. I mean, that's, it's kind of a mess. Um, one of the suitcases is a really big suitcase that belongs to my niece and we're going to be bringing back some things for her in that and then uh, some of it is food that a lot of that will get eaten up as we go. I was doing a lot of food prep the last few days, did all our laundry. Um, this morning we had to go get the rental, it's a van and we had to go get the rental and then when we got back we had to start loading things so I had everything pretty much ready to go out the door when we got back and I'm just doing this off the cuff I can't think right now um, we had lists that we were working with for the whole week just things that we wanted to make sure we didn't forget because it's winter driving and it's not winter where we were down in Houston we needed to think of things to have along just in case we get into a snowstorm or delays on the highway or something because of weather or whatever. So we had to pack all of that stuff with us. We're taking a few things back to Montello with us because we're going to stop and see Gary's mom on our way, kind of a little out of our way, but we're going to see her first and then we're going to head up to Minnesota from there. So it's kind of been a real whirlwind. Um, in Oh, in that time, when we first arrived in Houston, we were parking in the church parking lot where Gary is serving this winter. And it was working out okay, but we every two weeks we had to go and empty the tanks. And we really really we're kind of thinking it would be nice to be into a community of people so we could be having people to talk to every day um, we were doing the walking paths near us but they were not people were just kind of on a mission to walk and that was it <laughs> so we had our name in with this RV park for the whole six weeks and nothing was opening up and when we came on just a few days before my it was just like what a couple days before my mom died Saturday. yeah my mom was not doing well in the hospital that last week and um, so it just worked out and <laughs> we know who's responsible for that I mean that was definitely a God thing that he just happened to create an opening for us that day when we came to empty our tanks, Gary asked, how long will it be? And they said, one is opening up this afternoon. So we got in there, and then my mom died, and then we were going through all of the arrangements for the funeral and all those kinds of things. And um, well, we didn't have to worry about our, our home because it was now in a, a lot that we rented. And what Gary did this morning, and I wish I could have gotten video of it, but it was pouring rain, rain. <laughs> pouring rain. He was, uh, he emptied out the gas water heater, the, yeah, the hot water heater. We um, defrosted the freezer in the refrigerator yesterday, and we had taken any extra freezer food or condiments and things like that that we're not going to be taking on the trip put all that in the church refrigerator while we're gone and then we just uh, packed a, a cooler for what was left and then we have the dry foods and things and snacks that we brought along too so this morning um, it was real easy to just wipe out the refrigerator and take care of that make sure you leave the refrigerator doors open we made you know don't want to shut them there are some refrigerator doors have catches on them so that they leave open just a tiny little bit 
I'm I'm going to leave it open for, further than that even. I just just so it gets good air in there. We don't want to have any mold when we come back. We've seen refrigerators where this whole back part here was all mold because they shut the door. Another thing that we did is we left the our bed popped up so that some air can get under there while we're gone. There's just never a good time to do that because we use it every day. But it, it needs to have some fresh air going in there and there's no fan blowing now because everything is shut off. So we thought it would be good just to leave that open. Yeah. With some bounce sheets. Yes, we put bounce sheets in. That is a good tip. Um, I don't think, I don't know that it works with other dryer sheets. I do not use bounce sheets myself. There's a lot of chemicals in them. Um, and the smell is just way too strong for my taste. So I, I use a different brand I'm, I'm from a, a wellness company. But these are, have been noted to really work well for um, keeping mice and spiders and things like that out. So where we have our stuff stored at his mom's upstairs, we have bounce sheets that we put down every year. We put a fresh batch down um, when we leave again in the fall. And we did that for the RV as well. We put down a, a bunch of bounce sheets just to, just to ensure a little bit of security that we don't get any mice while we're gone. You never know, they can come from anywhere. And then Gary was doing the hot water heater. He was emptying the tanks, the black and gray tank. And he was also, uh, you put um, antifreeze in at the very last minute just before we left when everything else was shut off. So basically, it is sitting on the site with no hookups. And everything is shut off. Because if we were to lose power, which can happen. If we had lost power, then our battery would have run down and then things wouldn't have been able to run anymore. And there wouldn't have been anybody there to charge the batteries back up. Sometimes electricity could be out for a while. And so you just don't know. Um, it just really depends on all those little scenarios and we just we decided we better be prepared for all of them. So the smartest thing to do and the safest thing to do was to completely winterize our RV and make it like like what as like we would be doing if we were going to store it. And that's what we're doing. So we talked to our neighbors. We let them know that was nice too to have neighbors that will be watching out for it. It is a gated community. You can only get in with a, a code. So that's nice too. It's we know it's protected. The truck, okay, the truck. The reason we left the truck behind was multiple reasons. If you have watched our channel for a while, you know that I had terrible sciatica last spring because we were on the road for long periods of time the last couple of days before we got back to the Midwest. And my sciatica acted up. I have not, I don't think I've ever had it like that before and it lasted for like six weeks. Did not want to go through that again. So we needed to have something that was a smoother ride, but the gas mileage, the difference with the gas mileage, right now we're getting 24 miles to the gallon and it's pouring rain. And with the truck, we might've gotten eight, eight to 10 maybe. So, big difference right there. That's gonna save money. And when we looked at how much it was gonna cost to ship our niece's stuff to her from Minnesota, probably would have been a couple hundred dollars or more. We don't have a topper on the truck of any kind, so we can't use the back or clothing or anything that might get wet or froze. Yeah, yeah, that's something that would be nice to have, would be have a one of those top things that go across the, the truck bed, but we don't have that. The reason my niece is not going, I guess you might, might be wondering about that. She was my mom's oldest grandchild 
first grandchild, they were very, very close. And after my niece's, my niece's mom, my sister, died um, uh, nine years ago, then uh, Kim has been very, 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 very close to my mom and to me too. We've always just been very close. She is not able to go to the funeral because she's taking care of my sister's husband, my, my brother-in-law. Uh, he has uh, some pretty major health issues and so she is staying behind to take care of him. And I know that's hard for her and uh, we would have loved to have been able to have her come along with us, but are Christian and my mom was Christian and I know how my mom felt about her faith and I know that I know where she is and that gives me so much peace and comfort to know that she is in heaven she's with my sister she's with our granddaughter she's with her my dad with a lot of people that have died in faith and have gone before her. She was 96 years old. She had other health issues that even if they could have helped her through this one thing, those things still would have remained. She was tired. She was ready. She just wanted to go home. So I'm at a great peace with that. I think if you have not talked to your family about your faith, and if you, for, and if for any reason you haven't expressed your your belief um, in Jesus Christ as your Savior, then do it now because that is that is the greatest gift you could give your family.
Um, I think I mentioned that we have no hookups of any kind. Um, even the water hose was disconnected and, and coiled up and everything too. So we don't even have that on at all either. Um, which this RV park charges for electric. We'll be saving a little money on the electric on that while we're gone. All total will be gone about 10 days. Let you know what, what uh, when we get 
back to Houston again and how things are going. And um, Keep checking our, our Facebook page, Rose of Faith. Sometimes I put updates and things on there that I, I don't always put in our videos. And that's uh, usually they're the first ones to find out different things uh, before a video goes out. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't yet. And then this little bell that pops up, ring the bell and you'll be notified.